my pea head is coming at you live with a new first impressions. I also used some of my birthday money <laughs> to buy the new Beauty Bay New Mood Palette. At this point, I'm probably going to buy every single Beauty Bay palette that comes out because once I've, now that I've started, it's difficult to imagine stopping, okay? <laughs> I feel like the camera is not, okay. So that's where we're just at. And honestly, you know what? This palette has received a lot of hate for its color story, but the more I look at it, the more I kind of like it. I don't know. I'm kind of into it. So let's just give her a little live swatch, okay? There's no point in wasting time. We know what we're here for. So let's zoom in a little bit and do some live swatching. So the first shade is the shade Gracious, which is a metallic gold, not their super sparkly formula. This is just a regular metallic. Then we have the shade Curious, which is the most delicious warm camely brown oh god then we have grateful because god for fucking bed beauty bay doesn't put a beige in one of their palettes so that's a light beige then we have the shade intimate which is a, like a peach and gold like a peachy pinky gold duochrome that's really pretty. The shade Tender is a peachy matte, like a light peachy pinky matte. And then we have the shade Powerful, which is a dark neutral brown. The way these mattes feel, feels super nice, super nice. Then we have the shade Optimistic, which is a mustard. Yes, please. Then we have Euphoric, which is like the most beautiful shade in the palette, I think. Oh my god, you guys. It's a like lime green to like orangey brown. And there's some pink in there as well. Really sparkly, super pretty. Then we have the shade Passionate. Look at that bright matte pink. My favorite. Then we have Free, which is looks like a white in the pen, but it's a iridescent, like, pink. It looks like it has a blueness to it, but I think that's kind of, like, just what it looks like because it has, like, a whitish base, you know? Then we have the shade Focus, which is a periwinkle shade, a light matte. Then we have Inspired, which also looks really beautiful. This is a duochrome, like purple to blue. Super pretty, sparkly, love that. Then we have Bold, a matte black, so no complaints for me. And I'm really not picking up that much shadow. These shadows are swatching really nicely. Then we have Energetic, which is a lime green matte. And then we have Creative, which is a green. Again, this feels more just like a regular kind of metallic formula. Really pretty though, still. And then we have Serene, which is another whitish shade. This is a blue, purpley blue. Then we have con Content, <laughs> I read that as Content, which is a deeper periwinkle, super pretty, Confident, it's a dark matte blue, oh yes, Beauty Bay, <sighs> gorgeous. Let's see if I can do these last three swatches down here, I'll do it, or just two actually. Then we have the shade Blessed, which is a warm toned brown, just mid toned brown. And then Joyful is a matte. 
yellow. So this is the palette. And I think just the way that it's arranged, I can understand how initially it looks like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? But the more that I just look at the colors, the more I'm vibing. So let's do some up close swatches and some eye swatches. And then we will do a little look together. coming at you bare-faced doing some eye swatches of the new mood palette from Beauty Bay. Um, I've recently started doing these so do let me know if you like them or not or whatever but 
I have enjoyed doing them, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I have my little arsenal of brushes. They're not all the same, but honestly, they do similar things. So, you know, I trust and love them all. And yeah, let's just get started. The only thing to really note is that I will be priming my eyes. Um, where have I put it? Oh, using the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Um, before each shadow, I love this primer. Sing its praises all the time. It's not super tacky, but I think it just provides a nice base for shadow. So the first shade in the palette is the shade Gracious, which is a, um, like golden, lit gold, basically. I'm going to use this dry first to see how it goes on and then I'll spray it and then I'll use my fingers just to kind of cover all my bases. So yeah, let's just put her on. Okay, so this is Gracious. Beauty Bay describes this as being a nude shimmer. I reject that because nude is different for everyone, but it's just a light gold, okay? So that was it on dry. Now I'm going to give this, I guess, two little sprays. This is just water and see how this applies wet on my lid. Builds up nicely, honestly performed well dry as well and then I'll just take my little finger and intensify it yeah. it's just a nice little shimmer shade no complaints from me so the next shade is the shade curious which is a matte This is a... Okay, so this is the shade Curious, which honestly I love. Beauty Bay describes this as being a tan matte, which I would agree with, and literally so opaque, so nice, so pretty. Okie doke, so the next shade is Grateful, which is a beige, Beauty Bay's favorite color. All right, not exciting at all. It's maybe like a transition-y shade for me. Yeah. They describe it as a nude matte. Again, it's a, it's a beige. Nude is relative. The next shade we have is the shade, where is my brush? Hold on. The next shade up, the next shade up is the shade Intimate, which is like a peachy pink duochrome A little bit maybe sheer with a dry brush, but now I'm going to spray it and apply this wet. Definitely much more opaque. And then I'm going to take my finger and intensify it. So still, no issues, really, really pretty. Beauty Bay describes this as being a peach shimmer, which I think 
it's more than that. It's like peachy pinky duochrome. All right, next up we have another matte. This is the shade Tender. Tender, <laughs> not Tinder. And yeah, it's just like a light peachy pink matte. So yeah, that went on really nicely. If anything, there's like a little bit of it not sticking in the inner part of my eye, but that's just because that skin there tends to be a little bit drier. So honestly, not really a fault of the shadow. And they described this as being a peach matte, which I would say is true. Next up, we have the shade Powerful, which is a darker brown matte. Honestly, so easy, so gorgeous. Beauty Bay describes this as being a deep brown matte. They're not very great with their descriptions, but yeah, it's a deep brown matte. It's very neutral, I would say. It doesn't lean super, super cool, doesn't lean super warm. Okay, next up we have the shade Optimistic, which is a yellow matte. super pretty again no complaints beauty bay describes this as being a mustard matte which is accurate <laughs> alrighty the next shade up is the shade euphoric which is honestly my most anticipated shade of the palette I mean, look at that. Even just dry brush. That's so pretty. Okay, that's just dry. Now I'm gonna spray my brush and build this up. Again, just makes it a little bit more opaque. So gorgeous. And then my finger. I mean, look at that. Oh my god. Let's see how Beauty Bay describes this as being a green gold shimmer. Yeah. But I feel like there's more like red to it and pink almost than being like just a green gold shimmer. <sighs> Beauty Bay needs to work on their shade descriptions. <laughs> Okay, the next shade is the shade Passionate, which is a bright matte pink. Probably my favorite shade in the palette, if I'm being honest. Are you kidding? I mean, flawless. Literally flawless. And they describe this as being a hot pink matte, which is accurate. The next shade is a shimmer. This is the shade Free, which I used in my first impressions. Well, actually, I guess I used some of these already in my first impressions anyway, but this is like a duochrome kind of iridescent light pink white shade so it's just 
put her on the lids and see what she looks like. Obviously, this is a little bit difficult to see because essentially my skin is a white base. <laughs> but I will just spray this, see what it looks like built up. But I don't think you're going to be able to see that much. It's a little bit of a flakier texture. Still really sparkly though. And then I'll use my finger. So that's what it looks like. Obviously quite sheer on me. Beauty Bay describes this as being a white pink shimmer multi-fleck topper. So they describe this as being like a topper shade anyway, but yeah. Okay, so Next up, we have another matte. This is the shade Focused, which is a basically light periwinkle. And that pink shade, the shade Passionate, definitely stained a little bit. Honestly, I'd be shocked if it didn't stain, <laughs> especially on my skin tone with such a hot pink. But yeah, just something to be aware of. Beauty Bay describes this as being a light blue matte. So I guess it's light blue, but it feels very periwinkle to me. There's definitely purpliness to this for sure. Next we have the shade Inspired, which I also used. I mean, I used it Focused in my first impressions as well, but I used Inspired as well on my lid. So pretty. So I'm doing this dry first. Another one of their like kind of sparkly, creamier shades. A beauty. I'm gonna spray this now. Build her up. If you're wondering what brush this is, it's an ancient brush from CoverGirl. That probably came in a palette or something, but it's so good. So sorry. <laughs> Maybe you could find it, but probably not. Okay, and I'm going to put this um with my finger. Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. And Beauty Bay describes this as being a blue shimmer. Oh my God. It's not just a blue shimmer. It's blue and purple and delicious. I kicked my camera, but I think I'm. you can still see me. Sorry if I'm not in the center. The next shade is the shade Bold, which is a matte black. So happy that they have this in the palette. Again, super nice. Even if it wasn't so pigmented right away, it built up really nicely. Again, any lightness that you might see in the inner part of my eyes, probably just because my eyes are a little bit drier there. I can't imagine, yeah, a black matte they describe it as because that's exactly what it is. Um, next up, we have the shade Energetic, which is a bright matte green.
Okie doke. Again, no complaints. Built up super nice. It's giving Shigo vibes and I love it. Um, yeah, they described this as being a lime green mat, which is exactly what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shade Creative, which is a metallic green. Place this on. Oh, that's really pretty. wow this is honestly much prettier than in the swatch I will say I really like this now I'm gonna spray this super nice now taking a finger and building it up no complaints from me. And then next I'm going to take the shade Serene. Dry. This is again like a toppery shade, very similar to the pinky shade that I used before. Yeah, I think this is as much as I'm realistically going to build it up, so let's spray my brush and see where that gets us. And then finger. There we go. Definitely flakier. I think finger is going to be the best way, but yeah, that's really pretty. I think going to be probably great as an inner corner shade, which is I have used this that way already. So yeah, they just described creative as being a green shimmer, which is very accurate. And then serene as being a white blue shimmer multi fleck topper. So same as free. Okay, the next four shades we have are all mattes. So, the next shade is the shade Content, which is the deeper periwinkle shade. Maybe this is a little bit more blue than periwinkle, but I feel like this is periwinkle. Did you see the way that went on? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Beauty Bay describes this as being a blue matte. Oh my god, the way they describe their shades. Psh, Jesus. Okay, so next we have the shade Confident, which is a darker blue matte. They actually don't even have this listed in the shade description, so. And my eye is watering on this eye. If my eye is watery tomorrow, I'm going to throw hands with myself, I guess. On to highlighter. All right, so this is my... I mean, both of these blues. Look how, how opaque that is. Stunning. All right, last two shades, guys, last two shades. So now we have the shade Blessed, which is a matte brown. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, still super nice. This almost has like a pinkiness to it, I want to say. Um, yeah, they just described this as being a light brown matte. They're like, fuck, fuck an undertone. <laughs> and then the last shade is the shade Joyful, which is a bright matte yellow. Um, it feels a little bit dustier than the other mattes. I think that's just because it feels like it's trying to be very bright. Um, so I think there's like probably a lot of white in this or something like that. Um, so it's just a little bit dustier, but you can still see like it went on, it packed on nicely. It's good. All right, so now I'm going to be done with eye swatches. Um... Let's see, just for shits and gigs, yeah, they describe this as being a yellow mat. Um, yeah, so now I'm just gonna go watch Selling the OC with my girlfriend and eat some chocolate chip cookies. So I think what I wanna do, I really just wanna do, use these periwinkle shades, and I think I'm gonna do maybe a pink lower lash line. Maybe that could be good. That's what I'm leaning towards right now. These mattes, honestly, based on swatching, seem super nice, so I'm really excited to use these, actually. I'm going to start with the shade Focused, which is this lighter of the Periwinkles. Um, and I primed my eyes using the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, and I have not set my lids. I'm just going to run this through my crease. Not probably doing anything crazy with shape today because I don't feel like it. So this is where we're at. <laughs> and it's raining outside, so maybe that will be a relaxing sound in the background. And honestly, gorgeous. Like, no complaints here from me from this shade so far. You can pretty much just see for your own selves. And then I'm going to take the shade Content. I'm very excited to use this. I don't have very many like true periwinkle shades like this in my collection, so I'm excited to have another one. I feel like the most similar one that I have to this is from the Escape Pod palette from Kaleidos. And I pretty much reach for that palette and that shade anytime I want a periwinkle, so I'm excited to have this. Just bringing that through my outer corner and my crease. Honestly, I feel like these mattes are so nice so far. And then I'm going to take the shade Confident, this dark matte blue. I feel like Beauty Bay does blues a lot as well. Not complaining though. Definitely not complaining. And I'm just going to deepen my outer corner and my crease with this. I also bought the Nikki Tutorials palette because it was on super sale. It was like $13 Canadian or something. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. So... I bought it just to like have because everyone kind of shits on it so I wanted to see if it was like actually so bad but I can do like a first impressions and stuff because it is on sale if you were like interested in that I don't have to like I didn't I bought it more just for like me to have but if you wanted to get it like on a discount before it like goes away and if you want to see, like, does it actually suck, in my opinion, <laughs> I can do that. Or if no one's interested, I don't have to do that either. But it could be a fun video. I don't know. Let me know. Okay, so I just put some glitter primer from NYX on my lids. I'm going to take the shade Inspired. Just a shocking look. <laughs> I'm going to take the shade Inspired, but I'm also going to take the shade Free. 
right? Yes. So I'm going to put Inspired in the center and Free in the inner part because I'm going to do a pink lower lash line, so I feel like it could tie together, you know? Okay, so Inspired. Oh my god, you guys. Look at this. Beauty Bay shimmers. I feel like Beauty Bay kind of puts other brands to shame in that they have relatively affordable palettes and like really great formulas. Um, and other brands like Melt, why can't Melt do an eyeshadow formula like this? I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, so you know, maybe that's just personal opinion, but like Melt, how much do your palettes cost and why can't you do a, like more than just regular schmegular shimmers? I don't know. I don't know. And then I'm going to take the shade Free, which is that pinky iridescent shade, put that in the inner part. I think they have done this kind of shade before though. I think there's a shade like this in the Jade palette, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god. And then I'm just going to go back and forth between Free and Inspired on my brush and just blend these shimmers into each other. Okay, I'm just gonna do the same thing on my other eye. I feel like it looks a little bit crazy, but it will tie together. I can't promise, but I think. So I'm gonna take the shade Content. My brain just wants to read that as content, to be honest. I'm just gonna run this over the edge, do, do, do. I'm going to take a little bit and blend it into Inspired on my lid. And then I'm going to take Confident, which was the darker blue, deep in my outer corners again. And then also run that through my crease, keeping the depth there, but then also using this to blend the shimmers out. Then I'm going to take Focus on a little brush and just blend over the edges, making sure that everything is nice and blended out. And then I'm going to take Inspired and Free on my fingers and intensify these on my lid, my favorite part always. And I like how they combine to make like a little purple in the center. And I'm going to just do my highlighter and my blush because I just have been liking to do that before my lower lash line and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So for my lower lash line, if you're curious, why not? I use the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Chills, my fave as my highlight, and then the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights blush in Lunar Has It. Or maybe this is I Need Space. One of the two. Anyway, it doesn't matter because you can't get any more. <laughs> um, but now for my lower lash line, I'm going to first take the shade Passionate. This is going to be one of my favorite shades in the palette for sure. And just put this underneath my eyes. Um, maybe I'll take the shade Confident to deepen again. And we'll just see how it goes. Just putting this on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the shade Tender, this later peachy pink, and just use that to blend this out. I think that looks kind of nice. Now I'm going to take the shade Bold, which is this matte black. You already know. And deep in my outer corners and then finally I'm going to take the shade Serene which is this more like blue iridescent shade I'm going to spray that with some water and then put this on my inner corners we're going to tie everything together and then I'm also going to take a touch of this and put this on my brow bone 
Okay, this is where I'm gonna leave this look. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face, do my hair and stuff, and then be back to show you the finished look. Okay, this is the finished look. I gotta say, I really like it. Um, I love like blue and pink together, so I'm a fan. Um, I'm really excited about this palette. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like having it in person and looking at it, I feel inspired. I feel like there are so many different avenues you could go down. I cannot wait to do a three looks one palette with this. I haven't done the eye swatches yet, so I obviously haven't used every shade on my eyes yet, but honestly, the mattes in here are probably the best mattes that I've ever used from Beauty Bay, to be honest. And I had no issues with the shades that I use. So I'm really, really um, excited. They swatched beautifully. Super, super happy with this purchase, honestly, for sure. Um, which I think is maybe an unpopular opinion in a way, because I know a lot of people didn't love this color story, but maybe it's like a ha you have to like actually have it physically with you and start using it because it is a little bit arranged in a non-obvious way. Um, on my lips, I have the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Endless Cacao and the NYX Spade Matte Lips Liner in Sandstorm and then the Beauty Bay, where did I put it? Plumping Gloss in the shade Fizz, which came as like a free gift with purchase or whatever in this order and I have to say I used this yesterday this is the most plumping gloss I've ever used in my life it is intense it's more intense than even this Too Faced lip injection extreme it's like very stingy but I love it I kind of love it and I really like the shade so I don't know just a little aside if you like plumping glosses <laughs> which I know it's kind of a love or hate thing but honestly very happily impressed with that okay let me know what you guys think of this palette did you end up buying it or do you hate it <laughs> let me know thank you so much for watching this video I upload three videos a week if you want to stick around in my channel and I would love to see you in my next one bye